Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Today I wanna to talk about a percussive massager from Ached Away. And this is a tool that a lot of people like to use as a form of recovery, massage, or just getting a little bit freaky when their significant other might be out of town. Now I have done a review on another brand of this, that which is the Jigsaw Massage, which you can see right here. As you can tell, there's quite a size difference between it. Now when I first did this video review, which I'll link in the description box below, one of the things that I pushed about this particular version was that it was a much cheaper alternative because if you already owned a Jigsaw, you could just buy the attachments, or even if you wanted the whole product, it still only cost about $180. And when you take a look at some of the competition in the actual percussive massage market, which there's a lot of competition these days, if you look at some of the name brands like Theragun, they start at 250, but can go up to as high as about 600, $700. You look at things like the Hypervolt, which can be $350. You can also go on eBay and find like a Phoenix brand for like $80 and they all look the same. There's a lot of competition out there these days, but that was a good alternative for a lot of people. However, as I said, with the competition has also come a lot of price droppings. So price droppings almost sounds like bird droppings, which makes me think of shit, which some of these products can definitely be. This one, however, in my experience is not one of them. So this particular unit retails for $229. If you use the link in the description box below, which by the way, is also a code. So the code is basement. It can save you $25 on that. Now I'm not getting paid to review this, but I will get paid if you decide to buy it. So I wanna make full disclosure on that. Before you think this is a chump change video, let me be clear and say that I do not find percussive massagers as a useful tool in my own training. That being said, I've spoken to a lot of you who like to use it, like to use it to kind of work out some soreness, some kinks. I don't think it's powerful enough for any kind of myofascial release, so it's not gonna do the same thing as necessarily a foam roller would, which, full disclosure, I don't use one of those either. Um, but I just wanna make sure that you guys are aware that if you do use the link, code BASEMENT, you will get $25 off and I'll probably get like $25 in my pocket. So I wanna make sure that you're aware of that. However, with this video, even though I don't use these own massagers in my own training, I do wanna talk about this particular one because I do think it offers a very good value compared to some of the other ones. So again, for the Jigsaw Massage, if you were to buy this whole total unit, it retails for $180. I mentioned the Theragun starts at 250, the Hypervolt starts at 350, and prices can vary between there. There's some other cheaper ones on eBay as well, like the Phoenix brand, for example. One of the things that I find though that varies between a lot of the cheap to expensive is a few things, battery life, warranties, build quality, how strong these massagers are. So even though it will give you a massage, you can definitely get some more juice out of the nicer ones. And also the level of loudness. So for example, the jigsaw massage, it's cheap. Might be nice for some people until you turn it on and hear it. If you're wearing headphones, you might wanna lower your volume just slightly. You have been warned. <laughs> Extremely loud. Also, this is more of a pressure point trigger so it's not like other settings you get, depending on how hard you squeeze, you look light. I got a light touch. Or if you're very heavy handed, it goes zero to 100 real quick. Now with the nicer models, what you'll find usually is different levels of setting that you can do, and the high ones are pretty high, and again, the battery life is pretty good. Now for a lot of the other variants out there, it might look similar to this, but you don't always get those same benefits. So the nice thing about the ached away version that I have here is it's very heavy feeling. So it feels like a good product. It doesn't feel cheap and chinzy like crappy plastic you might find or expect for something that doesn't cost that much. It also comes in a nice carrying case, a couple different heads, as do many of its competition. But what sets this one apart is the fact that again, it's a quality material, feels very heavy. The battery on this lasts about three hours, has like a 3200 milliamp battery, like so it's pretty strong in that regard. And the actual get some good pressure or force behind it. Now to turn this on, it's very simple. They have a little switch on the bottom. You also have some LEDs on the back. That's gonna tell you exactly if it's powered on, which I actually just turned it off. So it's gonna tell you if it's powered on or not. It also has a couple LEDs on here for all five of its power settings and a little button that rotates through them. So you click it on once and here's the first setting. So a lot more quiet. Second setting, a little bit louder, a little more powerful. Third setting, which is right in the middle. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Fourth setting, oh, hello there. And fifth setting, hey now. So although it's not dead quiet, you can tell it's much more quiet than the Jigsaw Massage. 
It was interesting because when I posted this on my Instagram, because I'm giving one away of these at the end of the video, I get some feedback from some of the most probably reliable reviewers that I turn to when it comes to a lot of equipment. Number one is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Number two is Joel from as many reviews possible. And Coop had mentioned that he found a lot of these cheaper guns don't compare to the Hypervolt, which is, I guess, his massager of choice, if you will. And then we had Joel respond to that, who also does a lot of reviews, who recently reviewed this same product. And we kind of wanted to know what the difference was. And we didn't see a response from Coop, unfortunately. Maybe if he sees this video, he can enlighten us in the comments section below. But Joel actually went out and bought a Hypervolt and compared the two of these neck to neck, back to back, massage to massage, and made a video about it, which I'll link in the description box below. And he came back saying that there wasn't that much of a difference. He said the Hypervolt was a little bit more quiet, but in terms of battery length, in terms of power, in terms of feel, he felt like the Aked Away was the better value because this thing retails, as I mentioned, 229 before the discount, 205 after, versus a Hypervolt, which costs $350. So you're saving almost 50% and getting just as adequate of a tool slightly louder, I think it was like two decibels louder, but again, when you're dealing with this, as you heard already, it doesn't get that loud to begin with. So if you're in the market for something like this, a percussive massage gun, the Aked Away can offer a good value at $200. Again, personally speaking, I haven't found it to be that useful in my own training, just because number one, I don't get that sore, and if I do, it's usually gone in a day or two, and plus, I don't have a lot of free time to just sit there and massage myself, at least for lifting purposes, but again, if you're in the market and feel so inclined, there is a link in the description box below and the code name is basement, which will be a lot cooler once I'm actually back in the basement and not in the garage. So hopefully this answers any questions you have about the product. If you do, let me know in the comments section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big. All right, don't worry, I didn't forget you guys. I do have my phone right here and I just wanna kind of pick an Instagram winner. As I mentioned already, I'm giving one of these away. I'm gonna to try to do that for a lot of these reviews where they're sending me stuff. I'm gonna ask for an extra one to give to you and I'm trying not to make it anything ridiculous that you have to do. So you don't have to tag anybody, you don't have to follow any accounts. In this case, all you had to do was tell me what your favorite Seinfeld episode was, but because I wanna make this simple, I'm not gonna do anything about putting this in a big spreadsheet. I'm just gonna literally just flick this up and down until I stop somewhere. I'm not seeing it right now, and put my finger somewhere. And what I have here is, oh, this person has the perfect IG name. It's Powerlifting Basement. Very jealous because I'm in a garage right now, but Basement Brandon can get on board with that. And he said his favorite episode is the marine biologist episode with the golf balls because there I was, my friends, face to face with the blowhole. The sea was angry that day. So let me kind of show you on here. Hopefully that focused, uh, but they are the winner for this time. So congratulations. I will be contacting you via Instagram. Make sure my finger doesn't move here, um, but look forward to future reviews in the future. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching again. Stay big again. Redundancy. All right.